veteran wearing that new outfit, he was like a million dollars. Giving back is key for me, quite frankly. Um, we did an event uh, called Suiting Our Heroes, where we invited everybody to come in and basically donate their gently used suit. Because there's a lot of veterans out there, to be quite frank, that can't even, even afford a suit. So what we did was we had the community get involved, giving food, giving some soft drinks, and basically come out and donate your gently used suit. What we did with those suits is we went ahead and gave them to um, veterans that couldn't afford any clean because they're gently used. We had them tailored. We donated a shirt and tie to go with that. And guess what? When you see a veteran wearing that new outfit, he was like a million dollars and he knows he can go out there for the next chapter of his life and feel confident about that. What is up, brother? Not much. I didn't get used to that. I can't. Uh, when you put me in big screen like that, I gotta get nervous. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's uh, it's good to be here, man. It's uh, we had a crazy week uh, last week. Oh yeah, we, it's, um, it's been an emotional roller coaster the last week. It has. We were last week. We we did. Uh, we were with uh, Kim Wash Phillips. And uh, with a powerful professional scale fast formula live. Look at this. I still got the remnants. Woo! I have mine too. I know. Like, we're on sales calls and people say something. I'm still high tannin. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, we got to pitch uh, Joint Task Force 214 to um, uh, Kevin O'Leary, which was, I know, that was, that was, uh, that was pretty cool. You know, it was. It was kind of different, wasn't it? When they like when they announced the semifinalists, we were like, "Okay, yeah, we were expecting it," you know. And then, um, and then when they announced the finalist, it was kind of like, "Oh, it just got real," you know. Well, that's the crazy thing about this. Even the show, you know, we do this show live, so you just you got to keep moving forward. You never know what to expect, and that was kind of like one of those moments. So, thank goodness you've been training for it uh, on the show, and you were ready to pitch uh oh mr wonderful i don't i don't know it's, we still you know, call him mr wonderful if absolutely absolutely <laughs> it, i mean it's but it was it's interesting because when you have to pitch your business in under three minutes what you know what's your purpose who's your person the pain a problem you solve uh what your numbers were last year what you're what, what you're going to do next year uh why you matter why you deserve uh their vote in under three minutes, that's, that really deserves, I mean, you have to know your numbers and you have no props. It is 100% uh, without notes. It was, uh, it was pretty neat. It was pretty, it was pretty awesome. And then, uh, and then you didn't win. Right. And it's like, Mah. well, we did win. There was a W honestly, we, it was a W still. We got selected. That was the win, you know? <laughs> and then, but then later on in the week, what was cool is that we, um, we got to be able to. We still got to be able to talk about, uh, um, you know, what was the topic uh, from trauma to triumph, the hero's yeah. journey. And James, we got to talk about uh, being story brand coaches and how we started our business. So that was pretty I'm, cool. I mean, it was still it was a big W for the event. We were in the program guide. You know, there we are, yeah. the guide as speakers. So I mean, it was a, it was definitely a, a great learning experience, and you know. Being on the same, uh, you know, being able to speak at the same event as, you know, Kevin O'Leary, you know, Justin Generini, uh, and so much, so many others like Nate and Nate and Justin Canico, just those folks. It was, it was, it was definitely a, um, a blessing. Well, what's, what's, what's really neat is that Kevin O'Leary now knows Joint Task Force Two Fourteen. What? Um, and so you got to stop and pause and and, and appreciate. The little wins sometimes. Um, yeah, you know, we get caught up in life and we forget, 
you know, how, how quickly, um, how quickly things change and how they could be over in an instant. So you got to appreciate the, the small wins and appreciate the moments because it can be overwhelming. Um, because, you know, if, 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 if you get down and, and about us not winning and you get overwhelmed, uh, because, um, because life changes in an instant, yeah. kind of, you know, to, to quote Ferris Bueller, you know, you gotta, you gotta appreciate it. You gotta take a moment, right? It's, yeah. you know, it's the eighties kids and us coming around yeah. because, um, I found out that on Saturday, um, life changed and, uh. For me, I found out on Sunday that on Saturday life changed. And uh, um, well, can I share a video, James? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's I think it's appropriate for sure. And so, so I want to share a video with you all. Um, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this. If you guys don't mind, because sometimes a story about author Ernest Hemingway. Fellow writers challenged him to write a six-word novel. What he came up with was baby shoes for sale, never worn. Where an Arizona soldier has taken that same six word challenge to a whole new level and the results are poignant and powerful. Months of boredom, 15 minutes of terror. Two Iraq wars, first one better. Fly low, fly fast, shoot everything. Life changing war experiences described by soldiers in six words. Drive around and get blown up. Best times of my miserable life. Went there young, came back old. Six Word War was the brainchild of Captain Sean Wheelwright, a West Point graduate, an Arizona native, who spent over a year fighting in Iraq. A big fan of Hemingway, the Six Word novel was on his mind overseas. The sun was setting there in Baghdad, and I was kind of watching the soldiers pass by, and you know, we'd been through a lot, and I, I thought, you know, I wonder what their six words are. Old Russian mine, little girl, sad. You can never go home again. Waterboarding works better than wasting breath. Waste of money, time and lives. Why can't we have a beer? Hot and dirty all the time. So glad I helped shell oil. Sean and a co-author created a Facebook page and asked people to sum up their war experiences in six words. And he got thousands of responses. I still relive every single day. I didn't get to shoot anyone. No, it's not heaven, it's hell. Not something I am proud of. Hair blow dryer plus sand plus your face. Lost many friends, we'll never forget. Get the hell out of here. Terror, boredom, frustration, exhilaration, frayed nerves. Six words can't explain the pain. Not everyone can write their, you know, their own memoir. Not everyone's, you know, an American sniper, um, you know, we've all had these experiences at war and we're all trying to reintegrate back. Time to roll the dice again. I can't wash this blood off. I'll never be this cool again. For once, what I did mattered. Your insides just became your outsides. Both miss me, family and bullet. Winning hearts, minds, losing our own. Aged 30 years and 30 months. It's not about a book, you know, and it's, it's great to turn into that, but it's it's more about um, the healing process and then just, again, just connecting people, connecting veterans and, you know, helping them um, understand that they're not alone. They tried but couldn't break me. Where common sense goes to die. Deployment. Groundhog Day minus Bill Murray. I'm sorry, Mom. I had to. Baby coming, please come home alive. I'd like to acknowledge Jake Fromm for his editing work on that story. Six Word War is available now on Amazon.com. There are hundreds of them in this book. We have a link to the site and the book's Facebook page on Fox10Phoenix.com. In the story about... Uh, oops, sorry. Yeah, so... Um, my six words are brought them home, lost them here. Sean lost his, um, lost his battle this weekend. And, um, it breaks my heart because, um, I mean, that's why we started this show is to, to help, to help our brothers and sisters 
and, and bring awareness. And, um, and, and he leaves behind, leaves behind some boys, uh, his sons. And, um, it, uh, it really does. It breaks my heart to know that. Um, and what I, what I would like to ask is the, um, he was, he was a, um, he's a West Point, uh, boy. And, um, they've started a, um, they've started a fund. If I can share it here. I'll share it in the comments, um, for, um, for his children to, um, to help them out. And it's in the comments now to help raise, um, to raise money for them. And if, if you guys could help give, but James, do you have six words, brother? How would you describe the war? Well, you know, first off my condolences, Marty. Um, I know how, how it feels to lose one of your own and one of our own. So that hurts. Uh, you know, for me, just trying to put myself back in a, you know, in the mindset or, you know, when I was deployed, I would have to say, you know, my six words would be, you know, the light will end this darkness. That would be my six words. Um, and, you know, like you said, that's the reason why we started the show. Um, it was to celebrate veteran success. Uh, we don't do a lot of, um, you know, we don't do a lot of this, but in times, you know, we're human beings and we have to um, understand that, you know, folks are going through struggles and have gone through struggles and will continue to go through struggles um, with help of others. You know, hopefully we could uh, help others, you know, through our message and, and the stories of the legends that come on our show. And it's, we're not the legends. It's, it's the folks that come on the show. And I'm just honored that you're sharing Sean's story on the, on our show today, because to me, that's, that's what it's about, you know, leading with value. Obviously the book title itself, just, it's a, it's nothing but, you know, value and, caring about others and you know at the end of the day that's what it's about it's about you know doing your best and trying to make a positive difference so yeah it's it's one of those things and to, and to know sean is is really he's uh, he was really um he was a great soldier great officer and a great friend and um and again it was it breaks all of our hearts it, it breaks all of our hearts to lose every one of our one of our uh, soldiers, sailor, airmen, Marines, but, um, but he tried so much and that's why he, he wrote the book. Um, and it, um, he wrote it out there. I'll, I'll put a comment. I mean, I'll put a, uh, a link in the comment for his book as well. If you want to pick up the book, you can still find it on Amazon. Um, so you can pick up the book and um, so you can find it out there. And the title of the book is the six word or as well. So it's um, it is out there on Amazon, and and uh, you can donate here. This is the strong gray line. Um, see if I can scroll down. Uh, strong gray line is, is a group of West Point from uh, from his group. It goes to Sean's sons. They're trying to raise money and it, right, for his children, um, Desmond and Eric. Um, while he battled his demons for the past decades, he loved his boys, and um, this will go to his children. And help them uh, raise money for them. So uh, we appreciate your support for them, and uh, we'll find out. So appreciate it. And uh, sorry to start off on, on such a note like that, but it is one of those things where we want to do that. So, um, uh, what? So we are missing our guest. He's not on yet. But that's the uh, thing that we do. We do live shows, and it happens. <laughs> it, it happens. This show must go on. Um, we do have some other, uh, big things going on. We have, um, let's see, what do we have going? Oh, tonight we, James and I are running our, our master class, uh, selling success seminar. We are going to explain, we're going to teach people on how they can actually clarify their message and increase their marketing reach and revenue. That'll be tonight at, um, at, uh, 7 PM. If people are interested in registering, can I put that in the comment, James? Hundred uh, percent. Put it. In. 
Um, not that you're not doing enough. You can't multitask. You can't operate the switchboards. You can't do all of it at the same time. Come on. Right. So that's on there. Uh, we created that. If you want to register, it's an hour of your time. If you if you want to take an hour of your time and learn, how, if you have a small business consulting or coaching firm, and you want to learn how to, you can clarify your message so that people will buy. Uh, join us tonight. We'll teach you how to do that. And uh, and then what do we got going on the week after? Oh, and then next week we're also we're going to be coaching with uh, Donald Miller. Um, if you want to join us, that's a free hour. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to teach you how to uh, with your website. So yeah, uh, I mean, clean up your website. <laughs> well, there's some key words there that, you know, as entrepreneurs and business owners that I really loved hearing that you said when it started with F. It's not felts, but it was free. Right. These are free events. Free. But free. We, you know, the intentions, you know, we want to lead with value and everything that we do because um, it's the intentions that you can control. Right. And we can control that. Right. Um, and I, I froze for a second. I apologize. But, you know, it's just just like it was an airborne op. You always froze in the door. No, that would that'd be uh, Paul Dixon. <laughs> that wasn't me. I just name dropped you, Paul. So, uh, you know, Paul Dixon would be, um, you know, would be that person. Or we could also say he, he had the hardest parachute landing falls that I've ever uh, witnessed <laughs> in person. Everybody, thanks for your outpouring of support that's watching and, um, and all the comments coming in. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Um, we love our, you know, our fans. Yeah, Nick, one of our number one fans. I know he's going through some you know struggles himself, you know, um, with you know some medical issues. I won't air his stuff, but you know, we appreciate your support. You tune in every week. We can't uh, we couldn't do the show without your support, and we really appreciate that. Uh, still, we still owe you a hat. I, I promise once I get the hats, you're going to get one. <laughs> um, so Virginia, is she still in Italy or is she back home? I'm not sure. Know. I haven't <laughs> seen. We'll have to find out. Gina, let us know in the comments. Where are you at? Where are you at in the world? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? You can't keep up with her. She's traveling so much, you know. You see all these pictures of her everywhere. I don't yeah. know. I want to know. I, I want to get some wine. If you guys don't know, you got to follow. For uh, Virginia Rose Hodges, she's just starting her own wine, and uh, she's got all these amazing pictures of her all over. So it's it's pretty awesome. And if you are interested in uh, joining us tonight, uh, it'll be you can you can register tonight. It'll be uh, jtf214.com forward slash sell, and you can join us there. Oh, she says she's back. So Virginia's <laughs> back in Virginia. All right. So we'll definitely have to catch up and get some vino. So uh, good and uh, <laughs> good hats. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, they're coming in. And next week, she's just a shaker and a mover. Can't keep up with her. Can't keep up with her. Got it. Awesome. Well, we're, we're well, we're doing some traveling this month too, right? At the end of the month, where are we going? To the we end are. Of the we're going to Nashville. Taking the show, Nashville. We're going to actually link up with uh, Bunker Labs. And, oh, sweet. Uh, yeah, we're doing Bunker Labs. We're going to be uh, um, with uh, – who are we? Oh, we're doing the Rooftop Bar with Bunker Labs too uh, with Blake Hogan. And, uh, and we're actually doing a workshop for one of our new clients, Hometown Heroes. And we're going to help them with uh, – do one of their business um, uh, workshops. And we're meeting with, uh, I think we're doing a record. Yeah, we're doing a recording with um, um, Bill McCluskey, author of Get Off Your Assets. Great book. It's actually upstairs. I wish I had it on me. But Get Off Your Assets. It's an amazing book. If you want to get better at time management, check out the book, Get Off Your Assets. And um, let's see. Who else are we meeting with? Um, oh, we're meeting with Amy. Amy right. uh, she actually won the competition. We talked about the uh, pitch competition. If we want to lose to anybody, Amy's the one that we're okay with losing with. And she's also a future guest on Lounge with Legends. So she'll be coming in July. We just booked her with July 6th. Right. So she'll be coming well, in Lounge. Yeah, our family has a history of military service. You're going to get to learn more about that. And uh, I maybe might be able to convince her to sing. That might be... 
right. something that she'll be able to do too. For well, the show. I, I don't know. She's kind of intimidated now. Now that James actually during the discovery call, James sang some Mulan for her. So now she's like, I don't know. Well, you so, know, it's, you know, it's one of those hidden talents. The real reason why we're going to Nashville is, you know, I got to make sure that I introduce myself to country music. And it is they, it's yeah. true. We're going to go hit uh we're going to hit Blake Shelton bar and we're going to go hit uh, uh Luke Bryan's bar. So we're going to try to, you know, we're going to, hit American Idol the other way. We're gonna we're gonna hit them all and have a <laughs> try to get them I, on the voice I, I, I American got our Idol. Dates mixed up. We we should have been on there when you know actually I'm watching American Idol right now. I wish I would have got there when they were in Nashville. I think I might have been able to get in. What do you think, Marty? Other than the uh, age requirement. <laughs> that's right. I think you might be too old. I don't know. I know 28. I can't believe you got to stop at 28. Being 30 is terrible. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We got Donnell coming in now. Woo, let's grow. Donnell's in the group now. He's in the power upper. He was there last week. He said he said he heard his pitch. And he saw us representing yeah. Veterans Grow America during our pitch and talking about from trauma to uh <laughs> from trauma to whatever. I, I don't know. That's the good thing about being able to do like a hasty ambush. You know, we were able to basically execute a mission. With, with not even a five-point contingency plan. We just kind of just executed. We just, like, moved out. Yeah, the reason, yeah we, well, we got to explain why we don't exactly remember the title of what we pit, what we gave a class on was because of the fact that it was given to us literally, like, as we were going on stage. We were expecting to teach uh, the Avengers Guide to Building Superhero uh, Personal Branding and Authority Marketing. And as they're like, and now we're bringing on Marty and James, and they're going to talk about Trauma to triumph. We're like, we're doing what? And so giddy up. Here we go. <laughs> Next thing I know I'm reading from the Old Testament. I, I mean, we, it was good, though. It was, I tell you, you know, being transparent, Marty, I was nervous. I don't know why. Everyone was virtual. It was an online event. But I was so nervous. I don't know about you, but you, you said you weren't nervous because you got the, you know, you were pitching the other day, the day before or two days before. I actually was nervous, was rambling on my words. I guess it's no different than Lounge of Legends, but still, I was very nervous. <laughs> it was it was fun, you know. It was what was interesting. We even asked, I'm glad Donnell was in the group because I asked him afterwards. I'm like, was it good? Because it felt like kind of like we we sucked because there was no <laughs> feedback because we were on a different stage, and it was like I couldn't see comment. Like right now, we can see comments. We can see you guys. <laughs> we feed off of that. There it was James and I, and that was it. And so um, it was just kind of weird, you know. It was like, oh man, that sucked. There was no feedback, and uh, so it was kind of. I had to make sure I put this up there. I saw this pop in. I had to take control of the switchboard for a second. Yes is the answer to that question. She's talking about you, not me. I know I'm being sarcastic. He's he's all. You're right. You know him better than I do. We already know the answer to that. But you know, on in this situation, though, because of how big and how important the stage was, because you got to think about it, we had other entrepreneurs, other mentors, other coaches that were there, and they needed value, and they're coming to learn. So I think we were a little bit nervous on that one. I, I would like to say, you know, just for me, when when it's about you're presenting bringing the value, you know how important it is, and you're helping others, that's when I get nervous. Other than that, I don't get nervous. Well, I, I was nervous. Um, you were nervous? Let's get that in recording. I want to put this on record, and we're going to put put this on Instagram today. I think if you, I don't, I think if you don't get a little bit nervous, you, then you're, you're a fool. I mean, you're, you're, you're just arrogant. And I, I was nervous because again, I want to be able to deliver value and I get nervous that I'm not going to be able to deliver value for people who paid good money to listen to us. And, um, it, and especially uh, again, the other people that were up on the stage, again, you already said you got, you got Nick Nanton, Emmy award winning director. You had Mr. Wonderful. You had, you I mean, all these people. And then you got the Moac. You, we had the Moac. We were fine. <laughs> He got us up there. It's like, okay, well, how do we do this? And so it was good. And then like, and then yesterday we we were in a breakout session uh, from uh, the same group and they were like, it was, it was reinforced that the lady said, uh, oh, you guys are the one that had the PDF and the digital swag bag. That was the best thing ever. You guys had a great session. I was like, oh, good. Okay. That was awesome. 
So it was, uh, it was reinforcing. So, and then it was also nice that Donnell was like, no, you guys were good. You had a, you had a, you had fans in the group. So it was a, it was a powerful session. Well, you know, that's a great example. You know, Donnell was there. So, it, you know, it did feel like we were talking to family, you know what I'm saying? It, it makes it a lot simpler when you're talking to the folks that you know, that are supporting you, you know, we, and you know, we, we had a, a good couple of energy vampires here recently. You had an energy vampire hit you, hit us today, I think on one of our votes, you know, it's kind of, you know, that's kind of going to happen. And I, I look at energy vampires now as, as motivation to uh, just have a good laugh. <laughs> well, you know, it's one of those things is, is even as we're doing more things to get out, get comfortable being uncomfortable, you're throwing yourself out there. And it's, it's one of those things, that even as we're starting a podcast and doing all those things, if you want to, if you want to grow, um, you have to do things you're not comfortable with. You have to do things you're not used to. And that is, um, I mean, Virginia is an example of that. She went all the way over to Italy and she's doing stuff that is, you know, totally probably not normal uh, for, for a lot of Americans that are, that are wanting to do uh, things. And so, which is interesting is in the daily stoic, it is that scared part of you, you know, it is uh, doing something that's a little bit different. And so it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a good experience. So. Well, you know, I I think everything happens for a reason, everything, and even the show itself, you know, um, because, you know, I always say this and I don't just say this because you're on here with me, but, you know, I stopped reading. And one of the first things you told me is you got to start reading, man. What's what's going on with you? And I said, you know, I don't know. I just I stopped, you know, and you, you know, strongly encouraged me to get back into the books. And, you know, now because of that, I've got a copy of my Stoics here that I read every day and talks about the four you know, virtues, Stoic virtues of courage, justice, temperance and wisdom. And you know, just trying to make my life better. And that's what the show's about too, making other lives better. That's we bring those legends onto the show so they can share their story. You know, I know at times, sometimes, um, you know, like today we're, we're taking advantage of this opportunity to talk about ourselves a little bit, but for the 99.9% of the time, it's about the legends that come on, you know, battlefields to business, you know, we've right. been celebrating their success. So for the folks that are out here watching us, that's what we really appreciate. And, you know, you know, Marty had, you know, we opened the show with his story, uh, the unfortunate story, but it's facts, you know, it's, it's, it's real life. And the thing that is behind the scenes that you all don't get to see is, and, you know, Marty, I don't hope you don't mind me sharing this. We get contacted like all the time, constantly from former soldiers that are in a dark place that are struggling and then we just trying to help them and they see an episode or it's, that's really what it's about. You know, that's why we're here. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it is, um, it, it, it is, uh, it's a lot. It really is. And, but it's, um, but you want to help and you, and you want to help a lot. And it's, it's, I think we were talking to Don Al about this is wanting to help so much and it's, uh, but you got, you can't, you got to find a point too at the same time is because you can't, you can't fill from an empty cup and it's about a balance. Well, and then Um, plus two with you, like in me, we've talked about this before. It's hard too, because you got to go to, when you're helping these folks, you got to go back into that place yourself. And some, it gets hard for us to pull, pull each other out or pull ourselves out on in some occasions too. So, you know, we appreciate your, like I said, your support on the show. It helps us. Um, this is, I don't know about you. This is kind of my, uh, medicine, so to speak remedy for, Mm -hmm. for the issues that I have in my mindset. And, you know, and it's about, it's not about perfect content. If you watch us, you know, it's not about perfect content. Although Marty is almost close, we we make mistakes on here, but it's about the intention. Again, I said, I said that earlier. Um, and not everyone's going to like you. That's what I've learned too, by doing this, you know, it's true. I don't uh, like that. A lot of, you know, we've got a lot of folks that they'll tell you that they'll support you to their face and then behind their back, they're destroying you. And that's kind of disappointing because I can tell you, I know Marty's heart is genuine when it comes to taking care of soldiers. I mean, 
that's what it's about. And that's what we're about. Uh, we're not perfect. Never have been, never will be perfect. Never claim to be. But when it comes to love and care for soldiers, that's, that's our priority. Uh, so don't forget that. Well, I'm going to cut to commercial real quick. I want to, uh, I want to show up and uh, support Donnell real quick. The newest member of powerful professionals got his logo up there. So why not? Let's go ahead and show his commercial and we'll be right back. Lounge with Legends TV show with your hosts, Marty Martinez and James A. Feltz. All right, we're back. <laughs> we're live. <laughs> oh, man. No, I, this, is a, this is a hard episode. This is one. It's, it's because, you know, we lead off with, uh, with Sean and uh, but but I, I wanted to lead it off with um, with Sean and his six word war. And then um, our guest didn't show up today, but that's OK. You know, it, it happens. But uh, we also wanted to celebrate uh, some of the successes we had. And then again, I, I'm so happy that uh, that Donnell took the step to step into his greatness and and took the step to um, to follow into um in the step to, to, to follow in with, uh, with, with Kim, you know, had her on the show and it's, it's, it's hard work with, uh, with, with following Kim because there's a lot of work with what's going on, but he's going to do well. So congrats. Yeah. He's going to, he's going to do great. You know um, I I know he will. Um, The thing that I'm thinking of when you just said that is, you know, and we're talking about us a little, a lot more than normal today. It's, you know, hey, we share who our coaches are. You know, we have Donald Miller. We have Kim Walsh mm-hmm. Phillips. We tell people who our coaches are. If you want right. to go get their coaching, we encourage it. And right. what we, you know. Because she's our affiliate coach. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. So, you know, it, it, it's just, you know, how many people do we know that we were on a conversation uh, just the other day. I think it was yesterday. And the person was like, oh, well, I get coaching. And then, like, you ask him who their coach is. And it was like, oh, that's that's classified. I'm like. Okay. Or they don't get coaching. What's that? Or they don't get coached. Right. And that's, you know that to me is the worst. Right. Because so, I mean, no, you, yeah. you need to get, you need to keep getting coached. I mean, everyone's got something to learn. And so, but no, absolutely. Um, but this is, uh, yeah, no, this is, this is good. You know, um, I mean, what else, what else, uh, what else we got today that we've got, we've already covered tonight. Uh, the Selling Success Seminar, JTF214.com. Next week, again, if you, if you have a website, you want us to look at it, Virginia, I know you got a website, sign up, go check, go check us out. Um, we're doing website reviews with Donald Miller. We'll, we have our own personal coaching room. Feel free to reach out to us. Um, Donald Miller will be teaching how to, how to stop selling, how to invite people into a story. We'll go through with Donald Miller, but we'll also be doing one-on-one. Um, and then, um, and then the following week again, we'll be in Nashville. But we'll be doing this, uh, and it's free. We'll be doing the we'll be doing the website review with him. So um, that's the that's one of the biggest things we want to deliver value. And then, um, yeah, to be clear, our Nashville trip's not free. We charging. <laughs> oh, yeah, we charge, yeah. <laughs> yeah, to be clear, we're, we're 
the website, re, the website, you know, talking about the website, how to stop selling and invite people into a story and all that is free. Uh, so, and if you're, if you're looking, all right, there's Virginia Rose fine art.com. Uh, there's Virginia for trying to find Virginia since we've been talking about her so much. Uh, there she is. But, um, but uh, yeah, so that's what we got. And what else? You know, it's just, I'm excited. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of things in motion. Um, and just, just, I just tell everyone. And if, you know, if you need, if you're struggling, uh, you need some help, reach out uh, to us. Um, and it doesn't, you know, just reach out and we'll, we'll do what we can to help. And you don't have to be a veteran. We'll, I mean, we're here. We're, we lived a life of service and Marty and I, we've amended the, uh, what we say it's service doesn't begin or end with a contract. So our service to you will not end just because the contract's over and our service won't begin. It does not necessarily have a contract with us for us to provide value and service and be a service to you. Cause that's what we're here on earth to do. Right. We're here for a short period of time. We're here to make this place better and leave a legacy for our children and our children's children. And that's what we're trying to do. Um, some folks are going to say different, but th that that's what we're about. And like Marty always says, I, I've been using this now, Marty, about a thousand times a day. The open open kimono uh, line that you use. I used it yesterday at Frontline Fitness. That's another fun fact that you got me started on. So I was on day two yesterday at Frontline Fitness. So I went to Frontline Fitness yesterday, day two, workout number two. I can hardly move today, and I blame you. <laughs> Good. I've got a scrolling now. We're asking if, if you'd like, please, uh, you can support uh, Sean and his sons. That was started by uh, Strong Gray Line. Um, it's there. It's in the comments. And uh, But, yeah, that's in there. But tell us about the, uh, tell us about the workout. So it, it was a leg workout. And the funny thing is I was uh, taught by uh, my coach. See, I have a coach there too, right? My coach and uh, trainer was uh, Kenny Ragsdale Jr. And the funny, uh, the irony of this whole thing was we were in the, you know, we were in service together and I outranked him. So I got to tell him what to do. Well, yesterday when we were at the gym, guess who's telling me what to do? Mm -hmm. he was he was like okay and then he would throw a sir in there sir it looks like you're out of shape am i on. you know he was, was a surly sir but you know it, it, it was a good experience um it's it's amazing and i did a video live on it yesterday before we went in because first off i need to make sure i have evidence so i can show you because you're my accountability partner mm -hmm. i gotta prove that i'm there so i physically went live and the thing that i realized I didn't really, well, the thing I didn't realize was how much anxiety I had, you know, post injuries getting back into the gym. Right. So just that push, that nudge from you, that commitment that you made for me. And then basically now um, I'm excited, you know, I'm ready to go back. I'm not too, I'm a real sore. I'm not really ready to go back tomorrow, but I'll be there. Um, it, but I had to work on myself and that whole mindset thing. And it's amazing the power of the mind. And how uh, right. the it is affected positively by an, uh, a mentor or a coach, or it can be affected negatively, negative, in a negative way by not having a coach or a mentor too. So, or you you know do self reflection. But I'm rambling. I've had my second cup of coffee. Um, I've actually had to speak more this episode than I normally would speak. <laughs> so anyway, he's watching. He's watching. Oh God. You. Well, he's senior. fine. I'm not scared of Ken, the senior. I'm scared of junior. Senior, oh, I've, got, I've got senior on. I got senior on lockdown. Junior's the one that's been hurting me. <laughs> Kenny Ragsdale, junior. <laughs> oh oh man, man. Uh, you know, I appreciate to you know get back in the series, and I really appreciate you uh, opening up the show. How fitting it is. Uh, Lounge with legends. Um, Sean is a is a, a legend, and whatever we can do to support. Hopefully our listeners will, um, they put, I hope you put the link back up for them. Um, but it's, it's about, um, that struggle and let, let's support, um, you know, how we can, and hopefully we can push that, um, the monetary thing for his uh, sons forward and give them, make a positive out of this somehow. Um, 
But anyway, I appreciate you opening up. I know how hard that was for you or is for yeah, you. He's a good man. Um, and so he, he, he lost uh, – just because he lost his battle doesn't mean we need to give up on him. But um, a, a great American. I think uh, – Rather than us rambling on, I think let's just uh, let's just close the show, brother. Absolutely. Um, thank you once again for uh, sharing the story, Sean's story. Um, if you're one of our guests and supporters that have been watching us, we really appreciate your support. Please support Sean and his family now. And um, yeah, let's uh, let's just close it up that way, man. I think uh, yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate you. And then next week we have. Uh, Maybe Erica Kelly. I think that's right. You're right. She's got, she's taught. Oh, she's got, be prepared. I mean, I'm shit. I think I'm about to cry right now with Sean next week. I definitely think I'm about to cry with, with her story. Holy crap. That's, um, <laughs> she's got such a powerful story, uh, with her. I mean, just, just be, have the Kleenex ready. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not even going to spoil it. Erica Kelly, Chief Master Sergeant, U.S. Air Force. Um, power, power. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, that's all I got to say. James, thank you for your service. And everybody out there, if you're in a dark place, reach out to somebody. Do not give up. You are not in this alone. There's somebody out there. You are loved. We love you. Just, just reach out. You are not alone. You are valued. We love you. That's all I got to say. So thank you for your service. Thank you for all you do. You've been watching the Lounge with Legends show, countering the narrative that veterans are all broken misfit toys. Veterans are the lifeblood of American freedom, serving in harsh situations, coupled with their training, have forged them into some of the most resilient and capable leaders in the world. And that's where we come in, celebrating the success stories, taking you on a journey of transformation from military to business. We hope you enjoyed the show, and we'll be back soon. But find us on Facebook at Lounge with Legend or at JTF214. Till next time. Keep 